Hey guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Terry, and welcome to another episode of Wolf's Prairie Outdoors. Today we're out at the range with our 1894 CST. As you know in the last video, links right here, we went all over everything on the gun, told you about the upgrades and what we did to them. You can see the whole series linked right here, and looking for those links. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you can see the entire build of the rifle, everything we did to it, and it has really made a big difference on this gun. Oh yeah, definitely. It was already, a, it's a quick and handy rifle for its size. Just yeah. yeah, we went out and shot this thing without this uh, red dot on it. Yeah. And it's excellent. It's lightweight, it's quick, you can really shoot it quick. But when we put that red dot on, man, it's just like, pow, you're right there. It's, it's so quick. You don't have to look for them sights, get everything lined yeah. up, you're there. When that dot's on it, you're hitting it. I always thought a, le a red dot on a lever gun was kind of goofy, and yeah. I absolutely love it. And for you guys wondering, this is the Ride-On Optics X3 Tactics PRD. Uh, for anything you see on the gun, check the episode notes linked below. That'll take you to our website, and everything we've done is linked on there. So quick and easy way to find it. You know, it's not a precision scope. It gets you there quick, though. Exactly. This, uh, this was built as a homestead tool. You know, it's... I know you guys are going to, there's a lot of you who will jump on us right out of the gate for having done what we've done to this rifle. We love traditional guns and we have, we have several from 1970s I bought yeah. when I was a little kid and you know, we've got a few there. We've, we, got, we've got traditional rifles and we love them, but this was built with a specific purpose in mind to work on our homestead. This is something that my wife can easily operate An AR-15 intimidates her. This is a very easy rifle to function and it's lightweight, it's easy to, it's quick and handy with the red dot, it's and, something. And if we've got a setup for the wife's uh, 38. Yeah, you know, we can make it where she can run it. And we have coyote, we have black bear, we have copperheads, uh, some rattlers, water moccasins. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things around here that can be a problem on the homestead, and I have a newborn. It's so a little baby, and hopefully maybe another one in the future. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I love all animals, I really do. And out in the wild, I have almost stepped on copperheads. I've he just about got into a water moccasin. water moccasin when he was little. I didn't kill it. You know, we just left it alone because that was his territory. This is my territory. We're going to live here. And that baby's going to be running around this farm. Yep. We're gonna eliminate any potential risks and there. Speaking of snakes, the great thing about the quiver on the side here is we can have the gun loaded with whatever we want, but we can very quickly throw in some snake shot on this quiver, pop it inside, and we're ready to go and take care of a venomous snake. Yeah. You'd be surprised how hard it is to hit a stake sometimes. <laughs> well, with a rifle, probably not so much, but with a pistol that day, it's like... <laughs> when your adrenaline gets the best of you and you got a four or five foot copperhead, which is a pretty beefy copperhead that's about that big around. He about got me. Dad just thought, about okay, stepped on it. it he did a ballet head. dance over the snake. I about cut a flip. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it can be hard to hit a, ra a, a copperhead with yeah. a handgun. So yeah. some snake shot will definitely well, help. Well, when your adrenaline's pumping, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 about get bit by a copperhead, and he's like, yeah! I'm like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, so that's enough yapping, I think. Yeah. We just want to show you guys how this runs. We've got some different cheap ammo, uh, just range ammo and a couple of hollow points. Uh, we got some Fioki, complete metal jacket, some uh, American Eagle by Federal, uh, 158 grain jacketed hollow points, and some HSM jacketed hollow points. They're all 158 grain. That's This seems to really love 158 grain ammo, so that's what we generally run in it. Do we have any 158 grain? One or two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get to it, guys. Okay guys, eyes and ears, very important. Even though we're, we're 35 yards away from our target, still you never know what you're going to get thrown back at you. And right now I'm just going to load up some of the Fioki complete metal jacket rounds, or copper metal jacket, and see what happens. This is such a fun gun to shoot. I just absolutely love it. And for those of you wondering, I complained a lot in the first video, linked right here when we were out shooting when we just bought it, about the loading gate. This loading gate is 10 times better than what originally came on this rifle. This is the Ranger Point Precision loading gate. It is so much easier to load with. Just, oh man, that's nice. And I like the black. I think it offsets nicely. And I have been talking and forgotten how many, load, how many rounds I've put in here. And I would say that's it. It's not going to take any more. So let's get to shooting. Boy, that's fun. <laughs> I absolutely love that. And that Ranger Point trigger, that is so crisp and just light. I mean, this is, I think it's pulling right around three pounds, three and a half, and just super crisp, really nice break. Does an excellent job. I gotta shoot some more. That, uh, 
You can shoot in a little bit. Dad got to shoot the 500 Smith & Wesson more, so I'm going to take a little time with this and do some shooting. I tell you, you can't beat a lever gun for just getting out and having fun, especially in a 357. This is something that anybody can go shoot. You can download it with 38s and just have fun with it. I mean, there's there's nothing to it. It's lightweight, it's handy, and there's there's no recoil to this thing whatsoever. And plus, this one's threaded for a suppressor. And though we do not have a suppressor, we have put a suppressor on it and it is amazing. It's super quiet with 38s. It's about like shooting a pellet gun. We're gonna try to get with our buddy that's got the suppressor and get out and do some shooting one day and film that for you guys. It's just, it's a ton of fun. It really is. All right, let's get to it. All right. I love that, absolutely love that. I'm gonna let dad do a few shots. All right, finally get a chance to shoot. <laughs> Big bully over there. Thinks yeah. just because he's bigger than me, he can control everything. Well, here we go. That's it. thing is fun to shoot, isn't it? It is. All right, guys, one more round and we're going to close it out. This is just too much fun to pass up. Oh, I missed. Click. Man, that's fun. <laughs> I absolutely love it. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun, no doubt. Yeah, that thing shoots great. It really does. It's just, it's so quick. Red Dot's awesome. Yes, that Red Dot does a phenomenal job. I can very highly recommend it. We'll torture test it, of course, but it's doing a dang good job. And, and thinking about my Winchester Model 94 mm -hmm. and that little small factory lever. The lever, yeah. Yeah, um, this is nice because we've got big hands and mm -hmm. it just grabs and cuts into my fingers. And this is rounded well. Yeah. It, it really it just man cycles again really it's, a, it's a ranger point precision medium loop lever yeah and we took the big loop lever off and put this on because we're not in alaska we don't need giant gloves on because it's not 20 below zero here so this is more than sufficient for the gloves we would wear and it's great when you're barehanded just yeah. does a really good job and a big loop lever like you said unless you have some big gloves on or something mm -hmm. uh you've got a lag flying time flying out there hitting it and then you're having to slam mm -hmm. back into the gun where here you're you're, you're right there you yeah know? i mean you're going to move a little bit there's a gap you don't want your fingers just squished in there. You yeah, know. that's why you put this on instead of the one that was on it. You put it on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but overall, it does a great job and uh, definitely a lot of fun. If you guys don't have a 357 lever gun, I highly recommend getting one. Just, it's a ton of fun. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, and it's good. My son is going to learn to shoot on this thing. It, oh, yeah. 38 it, and that. Oh, man. It, wow, if we had a suppressor, I figured by the time he's at least three, we can have him shoot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I started shooting at four, so yeah. it uh, he created a monster. Now I love guns. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One other thing before we close out, uh, some guys had mentioned in previous videos when I talked about getting a lever gun hot, we just ran 40-ish rounds, maybe 50 yeah. rounds through here, and the excess sight rail we put on here is getting warm, like very the warm. Barrel. Yeah, a lot warmer. Yeah, the barrel is extremely warm. If we were it, out in the sun in the field somewhere shooting in the summertime, mm -hmm. and we get with three or four guys, and we're all running it fast just to see how we do, it's deep. Yeah. It's okay. nothing to run a couple hundred rounds through one of these and it will get hot. in a quick session. And it's going to get very hot. Yeah, it's cool so, out here today. We'll yeah. 50-something this morning. Yeah, so you can very easily get a lever gun hot. And that was one of the reasons I went with the uh, Midwest handrail is because it has all these M-lock slots, which means airflow. If you have a wooden handguard on here, yes, your hand's not going to get hot through that wood, but you're trapping all that heat around the barrel because that wood is an insulator. It's going to hold that heat in there this lets the air flow right through and it's going to cool off much faster and, and this is not only a tool it's a toy yes we're going to get out here and run it hard and run it fast and we yes. have three or four or five guys out here shooting at once exactly we're going to have fun and we're because gonna... we're big kids we like to shoot yeah all right that's enough rambling on hope you guys enjoyed this definitely a great series of upgrades to this rifle it was a good rifle to begin with we just made it ours it's so it's it a is a lot of fun a toy. it's a tool of the homestead and a toy for us no doubt yep. 
TNT. Hope, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and check out our uh, practical hunting ballistics. Check out our lever gun stuff. We've got a lot of good content. Hit our Instagram page up. We've got a lot of good stuff going on over there. And lots coming. Yeah. Lots coming. Oh, yeah. We've got a whole lot of stuff coming. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one. See you next time.